Hey folks, what's up? Here, here we are today at the Kegos, and uh, uh, this beer right here is like very special, as these guys were like a championship, like um, the, the, this thing here, this thing like um took home a championship back in two thousand and seventeen here in town, and um, this was a really good beer, kind of a Granny Smith uh, Belgian saison kind of style. And I snagged a bottle of it. Uh, this um, a cork right here came off the top of it, and uh, and um, I still have this for some reason. This is my like my like that's my lucky um, cork, I guess. But anyway, um, this beer here, I think I've had a small trub of a uh, small trub of. Uh, of uh, yeast, so I snagged it way back in two thousand in like eighteen, I think it is. I think it is. Um, the, the, so with this right here has made like I'm um, two beers, and I'm putting on like reharvesting it like now now and stuff. So um, I do have a uh, stir plate. I do have a uh, flask, and I'm gonna um. Turn this up and let this thing kind of, uh, you know, do its thing. I got the I got the uh, bath over here just kind of chilling out. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to let that chill. This beer here is just um, popping away here. The old summer wonderland. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty nice. Popping away at about 52. <laughs> Not 52, 72. Excuse me. I'm a little bit backwards with my words and all over the place with my words. But, but also, I plan on popping a, 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 Sierra, a Sierra, Sierra Nevada clone. So um, this is a uh, clone beer that I made recently. I'm going to crack it and let's check it out and see what it's all about. If he, Let's boot and see what it's all about. There we go. Mmm, it's still a little bit premature smelling for some reason. It just, it just need, needs more. The smell just needs more like a time, I think, in the bottle to condition. Hmm, almost a slight off smell, but not really, I don't know. Yeah, it's a pale ale, all right. Hmm. Yeah. This one had uh, cluster hops at, at the start, and then it had, um... I think it had like Cascade, and I think it had like um, like a floral hop, like Mount Hood, something like that in there. So, small ver small uh, versions of it, but uh, not too bad of a, a beer. It's not really carbonated, but that's okay. It's a it, this this style's a uh, pale ale. It's very close, so that's okay. It kind of skirts the uh, st style line there. Let me check it out if you want to. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, let me uh, let you check out the, the, the whole plan here. Uh, I have to get my stuff together here, folks. I am all, I am all freaking all. I'm just like stuttering. I'm like all freaking over the place today. So I'm just kind of, you know, I got to chill out. So anyway, um, I got this stir plate here. This thing will uh, <clears throat> churn it up good. So that's awesome. And uh, this is my flask right here. I'm going um, to spray this up with some uh, star sands here. But um, let me get that for you. Shake up the old star skins. Let's get the foam going here. Get, get, get some foam. 
But uh, yeah, just kind of how do I spray it up? This is a uh, cleaner. That's actually um, there's no like harsh like um chemical that's in it. It's all like that. It's all like that. It is all natural, as you can say. Let's uh, stir up here. Let's get some on the on the cork. Stir up good. Get this baby all the way clean. There we go. So, uh, yeah, man, this uh, Friars Brew House from uh, from Bucksport, Maine. Um, these guys are like like um holy. It's like a holy monastery. Um, I'll let you check out this bottle, man. It, it, it's very cool. Um, you can see right there. Uh, if you can see real quick. Back up a little bit. Brewed and bottled on the grounds of the St. Elizabeth Monastery. Bucksport, Maine. Small batch. And I have snatched their yeast. I stole their yeast. I stole it. It was, it was all free. It was out there. I bought the bottle. It's my yeast to steal. So, um, anyway, this is it. Um, you see this kind of trub right here. Uh, I'll let you look at it. But, but this right here is the uh, the um, the actual like. This is the actual yeast right here. If I can't say it, I'm just gonna sing it. I don't care anymore. I'm, you know. But uh, this is this is a uh, trub kind of stuff. So um, I might like pour. Uh, this stuff off it, I might kind of, kind of, just like gingerly kind of sh shake it up a little bit, and then pull that straight into here, just leaving that trub, you know, leave that trub behind, so, let's see what happens, you know, I mean, it's not perfect, but, you know, it's okay, so, um, yeah, let's, let's, um, this, so I plan on making like a, a, a Elgin like um saison here coming up. I might make it like really clean. I might even stick a, a Granny Smith um, apple in it, you know. Make a really pretty light beer, Granny Smith apple, just like these guys. You know, screw it, why not? So um, on that note, um, keg house and we are out of here. Who knows? I might. I might stick it like in the barrel, barrel aged Belgian saison. Man, oh man, this is when the thoughts start coming down. That old Sierra Nevada clone starting to kick in. Mm. But um, yeah, I'm gonna stick that, stick that stuff in here now. So uh, I'm gonna do, 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 do this on camera. Might as well. Let's keep it rolling, right? Let's keep it rolling. Gotta catch me riding dirty. <laughs> no, but um, there's a there's a hair over here. Oh, yeah, fish, fish this hair out. There we go. Now let's see what this temperature is at. Eighty. Two or three degrees. I can pitch that. I can pitch that. So shit. I might even pitch this shit on camera. Why not? Okay. So this is a out of it's a chill bath. I'm just gonna wipe off the bottom of this so uh, there's none of uh, this right here. It's gonna get into the thing. Whatever. This is like a cup of um of like Pilsner dry maltum extract with a uh, four cups of a uh, of a of a uh, four cups of tap water on top of it if I could ever fucking talk no <laughs> but yeah for that side here okay so let's put that cap back on. This cap's all sprayed off and shit. Just kind of 
we'll start seeing on it. Boom, that's all nice and cleaned. Let's, uh, let me try to get the juice off the top of this. Just kind of, yeah, maybe, maybe I can bring this over here real quick. I can, I can do it, folks. Fucking right, all right. Let's let this side drain out, just the water drain. Cut that off. That's blah, 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 blah. All right, fucking get it. All right. So my plan here is to pour this juice off completely. Um, save that small ring right there. Kind of, uh, kind of slosh up real quick with, the, with that little ring left. Um, pour that ring top right into there and leave the tub behind. It's all um, in the wrist, you know. It's like a, it's like old Jack. It's like Jack Bauer would always say. You know, it's all. It's in the reflexes. It's all in the reflexes. Maybe at home saying, who's Jack Bauer? Jack Bauer. Me. I'm just joking. That's from, uh, that's from that movie, um, Big Trouble Little China. Anyway. Love that movie. Anyway. Oh, shut up here. Okay. So I got that little trub ring right, right on top. I'm going to do a little sloshiness. A little sloshy, get it a little sloshy on top, a little cloudy. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna pour it straight in, straight in on top of this. So hopefully this stuff is still uh strong, alive, you know. That'd be cool. <laughs> just gonna pour a small, you know, a small amount of uh trub in, you know. Trub or whatever it's called. Some of this trub's got some fucking yeast in it. I know it does. So, all right, we'll do that. I'll leave that for this. So, um, we grab the cap on this. I mean, rinse this off completely. Don't get to spray that with some star sand. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is, man. Got a brew, gotta keep shit clean. Gotta keep it clean. Spray that cap. Perfect. Boom. Put this lid on. Now stir it up a little bit, you know. Get that yeast churning up, cause that's what that's what that's what it really likes. Um, and all that good stuff. Put that like that for a minute. Grab the old stir plate. Let's hook her up and I'll show you how this goes. Uh, really, uh, really just kind of play it by um, play it by um, here, here. This, um, so you turn up yeast because it likes to be, uh, the yeast likes to be um, oxygenated. You know, it, and that happens with a stir plate, a stir plate. Can uh, achieve that. That is a it's a magnet that's in here. Is a magnet that's right here, and it hooks right on. And um, then I can actually turn it up a little bit. And uh, take a minute here to get it actually up to speed. Have to start out kind of hot, then you have to kind of turn it back a little bit. And that's it. I got that stir plate going, so I'm gonna let this kind of stir for a little bit. Maybe I'll turn up a little bit. So yeah, let's get this. Uh, let's get this old a uh, Friars Mysterious Belgian Saison yeast. Let's get it going. This is awesome. So, let's reharvest this baby. Let's brew, let, let's brew ourselves an awesome Belgian Saison and stick it here in the barrel. And uh, just pay homage to uh, the folks who have come before us and made great beers. So, um, that's what it's all about, folks, you know. Uh, so, yeah, man. We're here tonight. 
I was drinking a clone, having a good time. Mm. I like this beer, folks. It ain't too bad. It's it's kind of close. It's, it's close, but it's not exactly that that. It's actually slightly stronger the the, the like um the the and the clone. Um, it's slightly drier. So whatever. I'm out. Peace, everybody. Take care, guys.